We recently shared an article about Welsh pharmacies providing antibiotics without prescription for UTI. These comments highlighted the concern that the right antibiotic couldn't be selected without knowing what organism is causing the UTI. In an ideal world, this would be easy. The issue is that standard urine culture is not accurate, it never has been, and it can't tell us if an organism found in your urine is actually causing your symptoms. For clarity, standard urine culture, or SUC, involves sending your urine sample to a lab so that the organisms in your urine can be grown. So why is SUC so inaccurate? There are a number of reasons and I'll cover just a few. For one thing, it was developed in the 1950s and was never intended to be used to diagnose lower urinary tract infections. Second, it's fundamentally flawed. It was based on the assumption that the bladder and therefore the urine are sterile when infection isn't present. We now know this isn't true and that a urinary microbiome exists at all times. Third, SUC was designed to detect E. coli. While we know that E. coli is the main pathogen that causes UTIs, if your UTI is caused by a less common organism, there's a good chance that SUC cannot detect it. Fourth is the arbitrary threshold. This is a threshold based on how many colony forming units of an organism are found in each milliliter of your urine. If it's above that threshold, it's a UTI. If it's below, it's not. Many researchers have suggested this threshold should be lowered or even abandoned. Like I said, there are many other issues and we have an article on our site that goes into more detail. Hopefully, you can already see that it's not as simple as using a standard urine culture to evaluate the best antibiotic for UTI. There are many researchers working on this problem and we're providing support where we can. I'd love to hear any other questions you have. Sometimes the research is lacking, but we'll do our best to summarize the information we do have and we always appreciate your input.